Hello and welcome back to the Alchemical Arts. Today I'm going to sort of do something a little bit different than what I normally do and start a long-term project that's going to take a reasonable amount of time just due to the process itself. But today I'm going to be starting uh, a lead white project. So lead white, as a lot of you various painters and artists out there will know, is a very important pigment throughout the history of art and yeah lead white has many desirable c characteristics particularly in oil painting due to its like flexibility its supreme covering power and for a very very long time it was the most suitable white paint the only drawback is obviously its inherent toxicity being a lead based pigment so what I thought I'd do in sort of an interesting sort of both practical sense and an alchemical sense, I'm going to explore the original Dutch method of producing lead white, which requires acetic acid and manure, and of course elemental lead. Um, so here we have a nice big heavy chunk of lead. Um, this what I'm planning to do with this in this first episode is we'll be casting this piece of lead into a symbol or a sigil of satin and we will then continue working with the talisman or the sigil that I make for satin out of the lead here and try and bring it through into a, well, bring it through the process and create lead carbonate which is what lead white is actually made from. And yeah, so it should be an interesting project. It should, roughly, the process should take about six weeks to do. So by starting it now, I can sort of document as I go through, and we'll see how it goes. And yeah, I hope you enjoy, and it should be interesting. I'm not entirely sure what to expect, but we'll play around with a few different methods, and I'll keep learning as we go. So to start off making this sigil for satin, I have a bunch of armature wire here and some modeling clay. So I'll probably just skip to a little time lapse here of the process. After some initial sort of just wireframe sculpting, I've sort of come to something similar to this. I think what I need to do is shorten this overall though, but this will do for serving as like the base point. Um, I now need to cast this in plaster and make a mold so then I can make a wax positive and keep going from there. So all I've done here is just build up some form work with some wood so that I can cast my plaster into here. Now I'm not too concerned about this plaster mold being perfect because, well, I'm going to be casting the wax over the top anyway, so it's not a big deal. I just want to get it covered and cast. And now it'll just be a matter of waiting till this is set. All right, I think we have enough wax here. So we're just gonna cast away. We'll just pour the wax into the mold, hoping that it fills everything, which it appears to be doing. I might just go in a slight bit of excess because wax tends, the beeswax tends to shrink as it cools. But there we go, we've cast our sigil. Things have cooled here, and now it's just a matter of breaking this open. have it. We have our 
wax talisman. So I'm just going to clean this up, carve a little bit of detail into it, and after I've done that we'll get working on preparing another mold for the pouring of the lead. Alright, so we're back, I've rebuilt the formwork, and we're going to pour again. Um, I've cleaned up the sigil here as best as I can be bothered doing. I mean, this is sacrificial, so again, just so that it's slightly cleaner in its lines. So we're going to be casting this again into here. This face down into the plaster. I think about there is good. That's all in nicely now. And I'll just let this dry overnight. Um, and then we'll come back and we'll pour the lead in. Alright, so I've just taken this out of the oven here, so it's just to dry it out and sort of pre-warm it. And what we're going to do Let's just continue eating the lead. So, the lead is on and heating. You can see that it's starting to melt there. Just gonna get my glass rod in there. bits off the top. Okay, the moment of truth, the pouring. So let's free this sigil from its little plaster home. Got my trusty Thor hammer here. It's a nice beautiful old copper hammer. And I'm just gonna gently break away the plaster. There we have it. It's heavy, as you'd expect a symbol of satin to be, but I'm happy with it. So after cleaning up the leaden talisman of satin that I made, I've now gone and constructed this, this strange art piece that's also an experiment in progress. So this here will serve as my chamber for the digestion of the body of satin, or this lead and talisman. And through this digestion we will produce lead carbonate, which will be our lead white pigment also. Alchemically we're bringing forth the albedo or the white state of satin from its heavy leaden condition will elevate it up to its white. So what we have here in this little glass chamber, as you can see, we have in the center the leaden talisman of satin that I made, and in these two little crucibles here I have some dilute acetic acid, which I diluted from glacial acetic acid, which is pure, essentially pure vinegar. And up the back here, we have a little tube coming in. And this tube is connected to this larger tube here, which is then connected to a fermenter. 
So yeah, in here we're brewing up some straight ethanol, which is just a sugar yeast um, brew, which which will produce um, a base spirit that I can then distill further. So I can make aqua vita, the water of life, which will be useful in other alchemical operations. So essentially, as the yeast works on the sugar, it'll produce carbon dioxide as a byproduct. The carbon dioxide will go up through the tube here and feed into the chamber. So the purpose of the carbon dioxide will be that as the vinegar vapors move up, they will start to acidify the surface of the lead sigil here. And so the surface of the lead sigil will turn into lead acetate, or the sugar of lead, and then the carbon dioxide will turn the sugar of lead, or the le will turn the lead acetate into a basic lead carbonate, which is the white that we we're looking for. I have no idea if this is going to work or how long this will take. This is a pure experiment. I wanted to make it a little bit more magical, a little bit more artistic, so this will be the first way. This isn't the traditional way of doing it, but I will do the traditional way as well. Thanks for watching, and we'll tune back in on this pro project as it evolves. Hope you have a good day.